also reveal that 66,000 civilians were killed in Iraq since the U.S. invaded, even though Washington had denied it kept any such record. The figure doesn't include scores of deaths during the U.S. two major offensives on the city of Fallujah in 2004. Its residents are still fighting the severest consequences of those attacks. on Iraq to free its people and to defend the world from grave danger. America's embassy looms large and control over Iraq's oil sector is perceived to be the ultimate trophy prize in this eight-year war. At the very least, in order to deny China or any other perceived potential rival control of valuable resources, the, the idea uh, it, it ingrained in the thinking of, of these neocon uh, strategists in Washington, D.C., who are still very much in power, uh, it is that we must control the, the Middle East because that's where the power comes from. In the last few years, hundreds of deformed babies have been born in Fallujah's General Hospital. Doctors dub them the white phosphorus children. Between the late 90s and 2003, we had patients with nervous system malfunctions roughly three times a year. At the moment, we're getting three such patients a week. This child was born with one eye, and with not a single day going past without a new case being registered, more and more doctors here are pointing a finger at the United States. The American combat operations caused environmental pollution. Both the U.S. and British sides admitted that they employed banned weapons. One afternoon in March, four soldiers walked through the trees and approached this house. Here, according to specialist James Barker's statement, he and another soldier took it in turns to rape the 14-year-old girl. In another room, the girl's parents and five-year-old sister were shot dead. The medals to prove his honorable service and a bag full of pills he takes daily to treat the physical and mental wounds he brought back. Really, shut that off. 